Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is our veto power. Where the blood of Jesus is being seen, no power can stand against it. Where the blood of Jesus is being seen, where the blood of Jesus is being cleaned, then the blood of Jesus is being sprayed on this mercy seat. We are all standing upon this mercy seat where the blood of Jesus has been poured for the church. We should not take it lightly. That is a vital power that has been given to us. The blood of Jesus is a weapon for every believer. The blood of Jesus is a weapon for every reconciliation in any home. The blood of Jesus is a weapon for every wayward children. The blood of Jesus is a weapon for every broken home. The blood of Jesus is a weapon against every financial property. The blood of Jesus is a weapon against every destructive spirit. The blood of Jesus is a weapon against every possessing spirit. The blood of Jesus is a weapon. That has been given to us as a veto power to use to connect to our Father. Because this blood is a relationship that we have with Christ. This blood is a relationship that we have with our Father. God has to see this blood to let this wrath pass over us. God has to see this blood. The enemy is afraid of the blood of Christ because that blood is power. When that blood begins to spill upon the ground, then the earth begins to shake, the earth begins to tremble. The God says, I will shake the earth, I will shake the earth, and my glory will be saved. Anything compared to the glory of the church of today. Because this church of today is greater than the church that has passed. Because we are walking in revelation, we, are, we, 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 we live in the revelation of Christ Jesus. That is what God wants us to understand. We should not allow it to over to suppress us. We should not allow it to suppress us. Because the blood of Jesus speaks greater things, better things than the blood of goats and, and animals. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of goats and sheep. A spotless lamb. Because that blood alone is pure. That blood alone is without blemish. It's a holy blood. It's not a blood that was contaminated. It's not a blood that was infected by human behavior. It's not a blood that came in contact with humans. But it's a pure blood. It's a righteous blood. It's a holy blood. So I will leave you guys today with this word. You have a veto power in Christ Jesus. You have a veto power in Christ Jesus. Operate in that veto power. Operate in that veto power. Forbid every activity of the enemy in your life. Forbid it and you will be established. Decree a thing in your life today and God will honor it. It will be established in heaven. I want to thank God for this message when God was speaking to me about the veto power that I have in Christ Jesus. How I am living in the mercy of the enemy because I don't operate in my veto power. I don't operate in my identity. I don't operate in the power that he has bestowed upon me. I wept because as a son of God, I am supposed to know the truth and let that truth make me free. Hallelujah. The veto power, God has to use this term veto power to me to make me understand clearly. Sometimes God has to teach us like children. Despite the fact that we say we are mature Christians, that we do things that does not please our Father in us. Because our Father is pleased to see us take over the kingdom. Our Father is pleased to know that He has room, matured children. God has used the word veto power to me, to make me to understand what He is talking about. For that, I just want to thank Him. That, that despite my weakness, despite our weakness, God will reach us at the point of our understanding. God is reaching each and every one of us to the, at the point of your understanding for us to grow in the knowledge of the truth so that we can be made free. Do not allow yourself to be drinking milk 
every day. Do not allow yourself for God to be breaking things down for you. Because as God is breaking things down for you, you're not going to be able to stand firm and face the enemy. Or you'll be thinking you're not good enough. Or you'll be thinking I'm not strong enough. Or you'll be thinking I don't have the, 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 the righteous power enough. Or you'll be thinking is that I can't face the oppressors of this world. Or you'll be thinking it's your own self errors, your mistakes. You allow the enemy to challenge you with your own mistakes. I forbid each and every one of us to operate again in that level. I forbid each and every one of us to be deaf to the things of the Lord. I forbid each and every one of us to be slow in our reason, in revelations. And I speak the word of God into your life. I speak the power and the strength of God into your life. I speak veto of God into your life. I speak the veto of God into your life, let it be established. And we make a path that you walk with. And we make a path that you live by. In the name of Jesus. 